What's going on guys? It's Greg here. Just want to do a quick video about True North versus Magnetic North. This is a critical concept for land navigation using a compass, precision, any kind of precision navigation using a compass and a topographical map. You're going to have to know the basic concept between Magnetic North and True North. Um, otherwise you're going to be off quite a bit, you know. Um, so basically... I'll start off by explaining the difference between the two. Uh, basically, true north is is the actual what it means. It's true, the actual true north. Um, and magnetic north is just the magnetic pole, which is the northern pole of the magnetic field of the earth. Um, so the true north is basically the actual, the real north pole. Uh, that's like the north pole, like where Santa Claus is and, and the top of the Arctic where the North Star is, that's the true north, that's the actual north. And most maps, they, they point, they have a grid on the map, it shows north, they have like a north, it'll say N, like right here. Um, that's usually your true north, and then they'll abbreviate it, they'll abbreviate like uh, MMN, which is, which is uh, magnetic north. So I'll show you right here. Um, so basically, so basically you got to know the difference between your true north and your magnetic north because if you're going to use a compass to, let's say you want to plot a route on the, on the map, you know, let's say I want to lay my compass down and I want to plot a route, you're going to have to know the difference between magnetic north and true north, otherwise you're going to be off, you know, and the magnetic north is constantly changing as the, as the Earth's magnetic field changes every year. So you have to stay up to date and you have to know what that is. But basically, let's say I wanted to, you know, let's say I wanted to hike through this area. I wanted to scout this area out. I would lay my compass down and let's say I wanted to plot like a route straight down here. I would mark it with a pencil, a grease pencil or something, you know, or, or whatever, any kind of erasable pencil. I would mark a plot here. If I didn't adjust for the magnetic north, uh, I would be off by up to 13 degrees you know, which is not a big deal if you're walking short distances, but let's say if I was walking a mile, two, three miles, 10 miles, whatever, I'm going to be off quite a bit. 13 degrees is a lot. And uh, it changes every year. I think it's up to like 14 degrees now. Or, But, you know, basically your map is going to typically have, um, it's going to have a, a scale on the bottom here. And I'll show you. See how it says MN right here? See that MN, that means magnetic north, and that's your true north. So what this means is that the the magnetic north is, is your compass needle is pointing 13 degrees to the west of the real north, which is true north. So you have to adjust for that 13 degrees. So, you, you know, if you didn't have an adjustable compass, all you would have to do is just add 13 degrees um, to every measurement that you make. Um, and if you're in the West, this is for the Eastern United States, you would have to add. And if you're in the West Coast, you're going to subtract whatever degrees you have over there. Um, if it's to the left, if the, if the magnetic north is to the left of true north, you're always going to add that to whatever measurement you have. Um, and if it's to the, if it's to the right, if the, if the magnetic north was coming off to the right here, you would subtract it from your from what your compass says. So like like right now, if I if I hold my compass up, all right, I'll show you right now. So let's say let's say I'm taking a reading here, and I I, I want to adjust for true north, you know. So this way this way when I lay this on the map, it's going to be accurate with the map. Um, let's say right now you see the black line; it's lining up with like 56 degrees or so. For me to be aligned with true north, I would have to add 13 degrees to that. All right, guys. So basically, uh, let's say I'm going to lay my compass down here and I want to go in this direction. I'm going to mark a line across along the, the ruler here on the side of the compass. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the reading and let's say the reading says 100, for example. It's 100 degrees the way it's laying right now. I'm going to want to add 13 degrees to that and make it 113. So, so I'm basically gonna turn the compass until it lines up with 113, and then I'm gonna, and then once it's lined up with 113, I'm gonna turn my bezel. 
I'm going to turn my bezel until I got the bezel aligned with the north. See? So now I'm now I'm good to go. Now I'm going to be accurate because I added the 13 degrees um of magnetic north the 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 you know so that's so I'm in good shape now. Um you know, so basically uh that's what you want to do. Uh you want to just add 13 degrees if you're if you're to the west, if you're in the east coast, you're going to want to add. If you're in the west coast, you're going to want to subtract. Um, remember, left, add, right, subtract. So if the magnetic north is to the left of the north, of true north, then you're going to want to add to your, to your mark, whatever degrees you are on the map when you're, when you're marking, you're plotting your points. Um, and uh, if, if the magnetic north is to the right, you're going to want to subtract. Um... And, uh, you know, the difference between magnetic north and true north is called magnetic declination. That's just another word for it. So, hope this video helped you guys out. It's, you know, it's just something simple that I think everybody should know. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.